day everybody we're in lake bronson minnesota on our way back we're getting home today a couple hours down the road I'm always excited to go home I haven't been gone very long and i'm not sure what my next load will be but today is a saturday when i'm filming this so i'm going home today i'll be home for tomorrow i have nothing planned for monday yet so I'll probably get going Monday afternoon or something or Monday late morning. We'll see what they have for me when Monday rolls around. We'll let next week worry about next week. Let's we're still in this week. Let's worry about this week. Make sure we just get home safe. Let's get going. Okie dokie everybody. Everything is ready to go. It's definitely fall time out there. Remember how green the trees were in Minneapolis yesterday? We're still in Minnesota. We're in northern Minnesota, but we're about like half an hour from the Canadian border. I don't know if you can see them from here. You can already see all the trees here are all yellow and losing their leaves. That's how the, the line of fall or the autumn line is moving south. It's already in Lake Bronson. It's going to be in Minneapolis in a day or two, I bet. Probably no more than a week. And your leaves will be falling there too. And then that autumn line is going to keep moving south, moving south. So all of you guys living south of me, it's coming. It's coming. Let's go. Let's just make sure our trailer is going to come with us. I need that. It's attached. The brakes work. And the brakes release. Wonderful. Daily checklist complete. Fall time is always so beautiful. It's even more beautiful in Ontario where they get a lot more colors. Here on the prairies, where I live anyways, in Manitoba and Minnesota here, it's mostly just browns and yellows. But you go into Ontario and you get beautiful shades of orange and bright red. and Especially on the east coast too. We don't get that as much here. But it's still wonderful. Today's going to be a good day. beautiful fall air too it's nice and cool sweater weather feel like having a bonfire too bad it's raining if it's not raining when we get home tonight maybe we'll have a bonfire tonight i don't know it's been very wet what a good day to be trucking though I mean, it would be better if it was sunshiny, but I've had a lot of sunshine and hot weather. I can do with a little bit of a rainy day. Hey. I got the arm pump. You see that? You don't disappoint kids when they give you the arm pump. That's like a trucker rule. driving through town and you got a couple of kids or even one just giving you the they want you to honk the air horn it's cruel to disappoint kids you honk that air horn I just made my day see I told you it was gonna be a good day told you you didn't listen to me it's gonna be a good day
stuff out of here. I don't want to start my next trip with this last trip's dirt. Let's see what I can do this with one hand. A little better. I need to wash that off. Put that right there. There's this towel beneath here yet. That catches the extra little dirt. Some still gets through. I gotta wipe that down. Where is this? Here it is. There we go. I'm just gonna shake that out as well. Alright, we're gonna put that in there before we Close everything up, we're just gonna need a little bit of a sweep. Get all that extra little dirt that snuck underneath the towel out of here. Whatever else. You can see it's getting a little dirty under there, so what I'm gonna do is grab my dashable. <laughs> Can's kind of beat up, but stuff inside is what works. Get on that there. Right there like that, it doesn't need to be crazy. Right. Get back here, I've got my microfiber. Just give it a quick little, doesn't have to be perfect, right? But just tell that I'm in a little bit of a better mood when I get back to the truck. I don't like seeing dirt from my last trip. When I start my next trip, it's hard to get into the corners here, though. I really don't like this ribbed floor. I'll admit that. I'm a big Kenworth fan, but I don't like this ribbed floor that they got because it's so hard to keep clean right along in here, right? I have a little tool for that. But still, just a smooth floor or even a slightly textured floor, not big ribs, would help and go a long way, but uh, whatever, right? Not that big a deal. Okay. Let's do the rest. There. Ah, a little better, right? A little bit better. We'll leave this right here. Okay. You right there, we will fold you back over here, you over there, fold that over there. Sorry, I keep pointing the camera in the wrong direction. Okay. Ready to go home. Bag. Dirty laundry, wash that up, get ready for next week. Computer. Don't want to forget this thing. All right. All right. There we go. Out in there. Throw this. Here you go. Two. I think that's everything that I needed. I'm gonna leave my bedding in here because. Uh, I didn't work a full week this week, so it'll be fine. I think I got everything. Oh, I gotta unplug the camera. I gotta reach up here. There we go. Don't need to have that wasting my battery. We have other surveillance and stuff that keep track of everything in here. Okay. Oh, I can't wait to get all this stuff out of here. This is gonna be like a nice little sitting area. I want to get like a little TV in here. I'm probably never going to spend any time in here, let's be honest. But once Theo's old enough to come help me with a truck and stuff, then I'll probably spend more time in here because then I can do stuff with him. But when I'm at home for only like a like a day and a half or a couple of days, I'm not going to spend a whole day in here. That's just wasting time that I could be with the family, right? So for now, this is, this is fine. We have plans for it in the near future. Don't worry. This isn't going to be here. It'll be, it'll be gone before next spring. It'll be gone before winter, even, probably. That's what I'm thinking. Very, very soon, hopefully. So we'll see when my next trip will be. It won't be first thing Monday, because I don't have anything on me yet, but it might be a little bit slow right now. There'll be something. There's always something.